So this video is for enhancement number three, the zoom slider, this one right here. Let's take a look at it and then let's see how do we attack a really complicated question like this. Because in AP class, you're gonna get a lot of these little complicated questions. It says, add a slider to your user interface to control the zoom level in the map. So we're gonna have a little slider that allows you to zoom in and zoom back out on the map. You may want a horizontal arrangement to, the, to arrange these new controls. You don't, just don't do it. I figured out you don't have to. I went ahead and did it, I redid my map, I made a mistake. You actually don't need to do the horizontal arrangement to make this work. In the sliders properties, set the max value to two, 20 rather, min value to one, the thumb position to 13. When the, the slider has a when slider position changed event handler that is called when the user slides the slider. Inside this event, you can change the map one zoom property to the value in the slider's thumb position. Whoa, 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 whoa. lots of direction. Okay, let's do this one at a time. So the first thing it says, instead of treating this like a paragraph, treat it like a list. It says, add a slider to the UI to control the zoom level on the map. So I'm gonna add a slider to the user interface. Let's go over that. I wonder if I have a slider over here. And if I go over here, there is a slider right here. And I'm gonna pop it right on top. You don't have to have it anywhere else. You can slide it on top. I am, just for the argument's sake, just so it's nice and easy to see, I'm going to make it fill the parent. So you can see it's going to cover the whole thing. What does that slider look like? Let me call up, because um, I'm still connected here. Give me a second. It's coming right up. And my slider now looks like that. You see that yellow and black thing right there? It allows me, I'll give it a quick slide over. See, I can move it over. And that's what the slider does. All right? It's pretty straightforward, right? So that's what the slider does. And so it says, add the slider to the map, horizontal arrangement. So look, we did these two already. These are done, all done. That's in the slider's properties, in the slider's properties. Here's my slider and here are my slider's properties right here. You see this word properties? So it's in the slider's properties, right? In the slider's properties, set the max value to 20. Hmm, max value, oh look, and it's set for 50. I'm gonna set it for 20, because it said set it for 20. And then, and of course it flashed here, I know I'm still connected, right? Then min value to one. Okay, well, we're here to one. So set the min value to one. That, by the way, is the value of the zoom. And it keeps flashing over here, so it's telling me I'm still connected, right? And then it says, and thumb position to 13. Thumb position to 13, right now it's set for 30. So I'm gonna go to 13. And I'm pretty sure that the thumb position is like the default starting spot. So that's what it's kind of telling me right now. Now. I've done all of this already. Then it says the slider has a when slider position changed event handler that is called when the slider uses the slider. So blocks, because that's where my event handlers are. And here's my slider. And there's an event handler called when slider position changed. Oh my God. Now look at this. Look at this thing. This thing is a thumb position. When, and then what does that look like? Pause for a second. What do you think that looks like? That looks an awful lot like what other thing? I hope you just said, gee, Mr. Tosh, that looks like a variable. It is. It's a special type of a variable inside of an event handler called a parameter. A parameter is kind of like a range. Parameters are like traffic cones. It said it can go from this to this, right? And, and it tells you what that means. So, when the position of the slider is changed, in other words, when I move this little button over, right? You see where it is right now, right? I'm going to slide it over here and it's going to go in there, right? That, in fact, is going to tell me what the thumb position is. I wonder if I have to do it. Do I have, yeah, I don't have to do it going on here. Won't let me do the do it. It won't let me. All right. I was going to make it do it, but it won't. Um, do I have to do it? Nope, I don't. Okay, forget what I was saying. Anyway, so whenever I move the thumb position, it, it's a number. So this, this is near the bottom, so it's probably a low number, like a seven or an eight. And if I go way, or actually, that's probably a high number, I'm sorry. So that number is a high number, that's probably between, since it's between one and 20, that's like an 18, right? And then if I go all the way over here, just so you know, that number right there, that's probably going to be like a two. Right, that's what it does. It's a parameter set, right? So what I want it to do is I want it to set the map zoom to whatever the thumb position is. 
I want it to set the map zoom to whatever the thumb position is. So before I go on, here's your challenge question. If I have to set the map zoom to the thumb position, the next block I'm going to get is, pause, I'm going to get a what block? I'll give you a choice. I'm going to get either a getter block, a setter block, or a variable. Those are the three choices. A getter, a setter, or a variable. And I want to set the map to the thumb position, the map zoom to the thumb position. So I'm going to get a, here's your answer, it's a setter block. I'm going to set map to, I'm going to down here, I'm going to set map to, and I'm just going to grab a setter block, and I'm going to set the zoom level. So how cool is that? I'm going to set the zoom level, and when am I going to set it to? I'm going to set it to the thumb position. So I get the thumb position, and I say, set map to zoom level to the thumb position. So, I'm going to open it up, come on up, it's still there, and here it is, right? This is my map, and I'm going to go and zoom it in. This is way out. Look at my map now. I moved it way out, and it's way out. That's showing, like, all of North America. Now I'm going to go halfway in. It's kind of showing me... Hang on, it's going to come in. There we go. This level of zoom right here, right? Kind of cool. And then if I go way in, it's going to zoom right into that. I'm zooming down to stuff that's really close. And what am I over? Who knows? Wait, I can go back and I could do my map type and I can pick terrain and it will actually reload the map. It's taking a while, but it's going to reload the map with a really cool view of the street. You can't see it yet. It's taking a while to load. But anyway, that's how the zoom level works. Make sure that happens. Get her done. Good luck.